How do? Welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is side chaining. Uh, basically, this is where the input level of one signal uh, affects the output level of another, causing it to duck out. Right. So basically, that's in dance music when I when we've got our kick going dum dum dum. Right. Usually we'll have something pulsing in the background of whoop 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 whoop. Yeah. So as the kick comes in, um, the, the pad or synth or whatever it's being used on um, ducks out. So it's basically, it's used in um, radio shows as well. So when DJs are talking, um, the music in the background is ducked out so that you can hear what they're saying. Um, this is how we're going to use it and how we're going to use it in Logic. So I've got a design pad, right? And basically all this is, is a pad I've chosen from the presets just to show you. Design pad, babushka, uh, and it sounds like this. The reason I chose it is because it's got a nice high end to it, so. Yeah, beautiful sound, right? Um, so, there's two ways we can do this. We can, as you've just seen, we could duplicate this track. So, I'm going to duplicate the snare track, uh, drag that up. So, now call this side chain. Yeah, um, what I want to do is grab the snares here and I'm just going to copy them up there. So I'm holding down Alt and I'm just dragging them up there. I don't want any sound on this, so I'm going to take the buzz effect off. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume right down. So now I just get nothing's happening. Uh, even if I played it, nothing's happening. No sound. Yeah, but it's still there as a signal. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is, if I just bring up my mixer, um, I'm going to add another, in fact, I'm going to use this Buzz 1. Is anything using Buzz 1? They're using Buzz 1, but why? Um, I'll use a different Buzz, it's fine. So, another surround sound, uh, stereo sound. So, this is going to be Buzz 5, Boosh, Input Buzz. Five. I'm gonna call it side chain new. And the reason I'm doing it on a buzz is that I can send the same um, effects to multiple channels. Yeah, so it's again a send effect. Um, I'm gonna put the compressor on. On the compressor, you can see where it says side chain there, and all we do is root it. So the side chain is rooted to the audio channel. So whenever this triggers. Um, this compressor is going to duck out whatever it's uh, whatever's rooted to it. So what we're going to route to it is, as you can see, the design pad because that's what we're going to use. So I find design pad on the mixer, which is here, and where it says buzz one, I click off that. Say no. I want to click on side chain because that's going to be side chained. Um, and let's say the, the classic techno one above it, so number four. So I'm going to send that to side chain as well, which is Buzz 5. So now we should start getting that effect where it's side chain, so it's ducking out. Whenever this snare hits, it should duck out. Yeah, so it is doing the job. Um, but what I want to do, I want to have a look at that compressor so I want it to do it a bit more so I'm going to bring the threshold down a little bit more put on the ratio and just find where you're comfortable with yeah so you can hear it ducking out You can hear it ducking out there. I'll turn that down. A bit overpowering. So, I think I might need a little bit more on there. In fact, I'll remove that. Yes, I am. Um, I'm just going to be compressing a little bit more.
And as you can see, when the snow hits, gain reduction is applied. Hope you don't. I know it's only a quick one, but thanks for watching. In a bit.